Round four, we're using the old clubs. Let's just show you the driver head. Look at that, uh, the graphite regular shaft. That's the difference of the old driver and the new one. Let's see how we go. This is every shot from an 18 handicappers round with my old clubs. The logic I'm going with is going up one club to my normal clubs, as I don't think they go quite as far. And that's worked quite well on the first shot. However, I pushed it off to the left. I did see it bounce, however. I've not hit my old clubs in about a year. So uh, we'll have to see how this one goes. So far, not too bad. I think just off to the left of the green. But the interesting thing is I have no real wedges, like specialist wedges. I just got a pitching wedge. Not a great start for the old clubs. I'm assuming it's gone in there. Uh, it might be down there, but I've not really got time to check. So we're just going to drop here. A bit of a generous drop, but they're old clubs. It should be like there, but I don't know. Pitching wedge. Still a bit baffled how I managed to lose that ball. However, such is life. So yeah, sticking with the pitching wedge and hopefully chip this one onto the green. Get a solid contact on it. That's not bad, it's on the green. This is my old mallet putter. That's my new mallet putter. The big step. Maybe needed a smaller step on that one. But uh, two putts to start, so not the worst. Just a shame we lost that ball. That definitely didn't feel as nice. Again, just look at the difference in the size. Not only the size, it's also the shaft. Like, this is so much more flexible. And the first one I hit into the tree and it bounces off to the left. Unfortunately, it clipped that tree and I don't know where that's gone. Somehow the ball ended up over here. I don't know how, but it has. This has got a five wood in the set. And if uh, anyone's watched my Fiji video, see I hit a five wood really well. I don't know if we can solely blame that on clubs. Old clubs not doing so well so far. It's bad to us for the old clubs. Um, they're trying to punch maybe a seven iron. Opt in with the four iron. Too high, hit the tree again. Nightmare. Feels like I'm getting a little unlucky with the old clubs as well. Okay, let's hit the wedges so again, not knowing the distances did hinder me a little bit here. So I went with the pitching wedge and came just a little bit short. It's not too bad. Try and pitching wedge it again. And short once more. Oh, just short. And even the big steps come up short. So again, another two putt. Short par four, driver in hand. And that one's come out real nice. Actually better than some of my actual drives. So ended up going with a short little nine iron here. Just wanted to get it up onto the green. Remembering there's a ledge at the back, or two ledges that we have to get up. Oh yes. Yeah. All right, birdie part, here we go. Can the big step deliver? Not on this occasion. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, that's a bit of work to do. Oh, but here we go. And unfortunately oh. missed that one as well. So there's the free putt. Putter is taking a little bit to adapt to. Drive it back in hand for the first par five of the round. So just want to keep this straight down the middle if possible. And it's not possible. <laughs> Going over four that left. tree. Uh, four right, sorry. Leaving us with the first five iron in the round. So first long iron, let's see how this goes. Not great. Working our way down the wrong fairway. Would be nice to get uh, one of the old clubs in the fairway. Can't believe we squandered that par opportunity. Damn it. The putt is just so different though. Gonna go with the nine iron. Again, sticking to going up one club more than usual. And what a strike that was. Maybe need a bit more. I can't believe that's gone short and landed in this tree. You need to go up two clubs with these things, so. You do a little bump and run with the eight iron. And that's going to roll off the back. Off the back, damn it. 
You have a little pitching wedge. And actually pretty happy with that one, to be fair. Nice, that's a good effort there. And we're going to follow it up with the big step. And again, a big step past the hole. But comfortably putting it back in for a double. So a two putt, we'll take it. Right, going to a six iron. This hole has been a bit of a nightmare today. So just a reminder, we are trying to par oh, every hole good. throughout Come the day. And so far, this one is not ticked off. Right, down Unfortunately, here. it did come off to the right there. But a nice pitching wedge in. Oh, oh. nearly went in the hole. That was with the pitching wedge, the old one. All right, I know I've not parred this hole yet. Can the old clubs deliver? Come on, big step. Oh, oh. slipped up. Disaster. But a nice bogey. Damn it, come on, this one, one par with these old clubs. Nearly got a par with the old clubs. Oh, so close. Uh, going on to hole number seven of round four. Um, for, for a good cause, it's for the Cancer Society NZ. Uh, if you are able to and want to donate, you can donate in the link below. Uh, other than that, let's try and get one of these pars out. Back to seeing if we get a good connection with the driver. So far, it's actually not been too bad. Touch wood. Spoke too soon. Over to the left. Not ideal from the old club. Uh, just going to pitch wedge this out into the middle of the fairway. If in doubt, play smart. I think this is probably like a full pitching wedge. See a lot of guesswork on the distance here. Hit it pretty strong. Mile oh, short, man. Jesus. But yeah, distance is off. That's the excuse I'm gonna use. But a nice pitching wedge up onto the green. It's up there. But quite a step even for the big step. But I somehow absolutely smashed it into the hole. A one putt with the big step, absolutely unheard of scene. What a putt. Finally sunk a putt with the old putter. Yes. What a lovely evening though. And saying that, nearly five o'clock. Another clean connection with the irons. Oh, just off to the right. Maybe old clubs are the way forward. Uh, putting off the green here with the big step. Rather than the chip just felt more comfortable. Unfortunately read that horribly wrong. And we've unfortunately missed the par opportunity. Thankfully we've parred this hole already, but we just want to keep the score low as we're trying to stay under the 500 mark after 100 holes. Alright, driver in hand. Back to another par 4 here. Driver in hand. And what a strike that is, right down the middle. Hopefully when we blocked out by those trees. It's a fairly good drive of the uh, old box. Lovely spot for the drive to end up. Perfectly located through the trees. And that looks like it's pretty much at the green. You're on the green! We have hard this hole already, although we do have a birdie putt now. <laughs> it's just lipped in at the end. Yeah. What a putt from the big step. I think the wind might have helped you a little bit, but it got there. Birdie with the old clubs. I'm actually pretty stoked with that birdie because uh, the distance, I just eyed it. I didn't even check it with the pitching wedge and just nailed it. And then what a putt. Old driver in hand. It's a really short par five, but it has been causing me problems. And it's low and off to the right. Hopefully we'll find that. We should stay in. Six iron. Here we go. Just going to try and play it to the bridge, as always. Clean strike on it. Should Down. hopefully set us up with a wedge. Okay, bounce, I can see it. All right, here we go. So as you can see, the old clubs, um, the one thing I've definitely noticed is the distance. Um, but, you know, just get used to it, isn't it? Full pitching wedge at this one. Again, another solid strike on it. Can't really complain too much about connection issues. But slightly off to the right. This shot, however, went miles. 
less than ideal. Uh, so putting back now from the other side off the camera. And as you can see that's going very long. The big step. And that somehow just stopped short. Just not my day on this hole, although I have already parred it. A bit confident with it under the leg. Uh, I still want to keep that score under 500. Damn it. So the par 4 with the road to the right. It's such a nasty hole because you really don't want to go to the right hand side and when you're a right hander and your miss is a slice, it's not ideal. However on this occasion, that's down the middle, it's not very far. Again made sure to stick to the left there. That was just an awful strike really. Oh, I was so safe of not wanting to go in the road. Pitching way. As you can see after the mic died I started just shouting what club I was hitting. But we did manage to hit a good one onto the green here. Kind of uh, thinned it a little bit and got away with it. Come on, old Big step steps up. And it's another par. Yes. Definitely take that going into this 10th hole. Long par 3, which I've not parred yet. Taking a free iron at this one. And I've hooked off to the left hand side. Been there a couple of times today already. Right, I'm going to try and bump it up there for 7. Got to get out of this fixed stuff. And bummed it up there and it's rolled just over the Ooh, hill. That could be on the green. Might have a chance here. It's one of the ones I said could be hard to get par on, especially with the way the tee shots have gone on this hole. So it just got caught up on the fringe here, but it's definitely a putt for par. Too far, it does bank heavily down to the right here. And the big step deliver once more. And I've hit it way fast. But you've got to give it a chance to go in, that's what they say. Every putt short is a definite miss. However, that one was off. And that's us in for double. Oh, 12, the drivable par 4. Can the old club get there? Jesus. Did not see that. Into the drivable par 4, like I said. 223 metres, 243 yards. And I'm over into the cow field. Most unfortunate. Oh yeah, I can actually see one of the balls over there, but the cows have got a lot closer. So I'm just going to drop here. Playing it as a hazard just for saving time. Doing 100 holes, you kind of have to bend them up slightly. But here's my third shot. And that one yeah, has gone yeah, longer than green. Right so we're having to use the pitching wedge to get back up and hopefully get onto the green and let the big step do its work. It's gone up pretty nicely. We're on the green, that's the main thing. Big step steps up and unfortunately misses just to the left. But we should tap this one in for an easy double. It's not the end of the world. So this par five's done as well today. Driver in hand, old club. And again I've piped it down the middle. I think on this hole I might hit every drive pretty solid. Something about this hole, very satisfying. Leaving us in the middle of the fairway. To the six iron just to get up there. Thanks for watching if you've got to this point. I know it's been an absolute slog, but man, it is very tiring work. Um, but yeah, good cause, bit of fun, uh, good challenge. Don't think I'll be moving anytime soon. This is the range which was kind of costing me a little bit, because normally with my wedges I've got pretty good distances on those. On the green, we'll roll to the back. But anything on the green will take, and now the big step steps up once more and drills it well long and off to the left. That's just a poor read, maybe brushing it a little bit. But we can still make par here. And it's another par for the old clubs. It's been a good hole today, that one. So again, moving on to a par five, one we are yet to par for the round, so hopefully get a good drive here. And that's the opposite of a good drive. Oh, too many swing forts, too much pressure, saw back. Saw everything. Epic fail. Epic fail. All right, the old club has a free wood as well, so we're going to try that. Maybe I'll sneak a free wood in my bag after all. It's up there. It's up there. Might have to hit it again though. <laughs> Got pretty unlucky to be stuck behind the trees here. Definitely overhit that. Now on the other neighbouring fairway, trying to get over the tree. Great 
connection on it. Are we going to see that one? All right, orange ball dropped in there. Changing to the yellow football. Again, we're not spending too much time searching and we're doing maybe slightly generous drops. But we've chipped it onto the green, hopefully roll it down the bank. On the green. Nicely done. One putt. Nope. Two putt. So achy. Yep, pretty achy now, so starting to fatigue. Swinging this many shots in the round, not too recommended. It's the 341st. Is it going to be a good one? It's pretty good, but it got held up in the wind, so it should just be short and right at the green. I think that might be in the bunker. Right, pitching wedge for this one. Yep, came short of the bunker. Pitching wedge onto the green. Should give ourselves a chance with a big step. Can we make another one of these long range putts? Yes, we can. It lips in. I was satisfied with that, just rolled around and then dropped. Fantastic stuff. Again, it's a hole we've already hard, however, that will help the score after that triple. Full putt. Get in. Going back to a par four. Again, we've hard this one. Just want to stick to the left side if possible. That's quite the opposite of the left side. I meant the left side of the fairway is actually OB to the left, so on the grand scheme of things, but it's missed that far right than that far left. Can hit seven iron here. Just gonna punch the seven iron down the right hand side of the fairway as plan. And I've ended up hooking that off to the left and didn't see it straight away but caught it in the very last second going there. Oh damn it. I think I've hooked it into the water. Thankfully bounced off the tree and come back out into the stick rough. I tried to take a pitching wedge at it and kind of chunked it into the middle of the fairway. <laughs> yeah, fairway! Still not in the fairway, but uh, pitching wedge at this one. Pitching wedge once more. And that one's just gone long. Too much, too much club. And again, opting for the big step off the green. Tried to hit that one pretty hard and it slowed up real fast with that rough. We get a long putt in, and I've yeah. drilled that one. Gonna stay in oh, camera though, yeah. and hopefully make this putt on the way back. And we don't lose another score there, so another triple. Don't know what that's gone in for, but it's completed the hole. <laughs> Started to get to that point where I just wanted to complete the holes. Anyway, par three, we've parred this one a couple times. And I've ended up kind of thinning it off to the left, so we're gonna be at the back of the green. Back of the green? Again, sticking with the big step off the green, I think it was more for convenience and timing as well. And that is pretty woeful for at the pin. It's going to give us a lot of work to do on the second part, and as you can see, struggling to walk at this stage. We're going to sell ourselves over the ball and hopefully get this one in for a par. For a second I thought it was going in, however it's just missed off to the right. And it's an easy tap in bogey. We'll take that this late on into the round. Nearly lost that ball from throwing it to the hole. Right, going on to the last hole for round four. So, definitely going to be over 90 on this round. Par four. This is actually one of the holes I've not parred, so if we can sneak a par here. That will save us a bit of work on the final round. And that is not going to help. <laughs> We're into the tree. Just taking a drop here for and, the other yeah, one. Didn't want to spend time screen. looking for that one, so I'm just going to drop it here. <sighs> for some reason that fatigued me, thought it was a good idea to take a low iron. I think it was the free iron, and I just I put that low down idea. to the left. I don't know why I did it. Not the greatest way to end round four with the old clubs. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll do a video to see the difference uh, between the old clubs and maybe see if I can break 100. As you can see, I actually thought I was scoring a lot worse than what I am. Not that this is great scoring, but considering I'm playing 355 shots so far, Get up there. Come not on. too bad. Finish strong. A little pitching wedge onto the right, roll it in, chip it in, finish round four on a chip in. Optimistic, you could say? But it's actually a pretty good chip. But again, oh. it's just rolled off to the back. <laughs> a little too much for the pitching wedge. All right, 
Thanks for watching guys. Let's try and put this one in. And that's the end of round four. I'm starting to see the pain on my face. Can we deliver with one final putt with the big step? We definitely made it there. <laughs> that's gone miles long. And off the camera once more. Coming back, we came just a little bit short. And we're going to finish this one with a quad. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Tune in for part five, the finale, tomorrow. So not a bad round, finishing on 27 over, 97, so just under 100. Five holes left to par, let's see if we can do it.